Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over day one of season three that dropped uh, at 3 p.m. Central on uh, Tuesday. I think the uh, word for the day is going to be lag because uh, there was a ton of lag here in the beginning and I attribute that to everyone being rank one and the fact that everyone's queuing up around the same time. So definitely you're going to see some lag in these games. Um, maybe wait a couple days, I would think, before uh, queuing up. Might allow everyone to spread a little bit uh, so that everyone isn't just around the same rating. All right, we're going to go ahead and get into the games. But first of all, if you haven't subscribed to the channel so that you can get all the latest videos and leave a comment and like as well, if you would like to do those things. If not, go ahead and just start watching. All right, I pulled these directly from my Twitch channel. So if you want to check that out, it's Twitch TV, twitch.tv slash vergiverg1. And uh, that's in the comments below, or the de uh, in the description below. Definitely check that out. And we're going to get started here on match one. So Wizcash is here, and the thing is, it farmed up a ton of energy, so I'm a little afraid of the Blizzard. I decided to shield here, but I wanted what I wanted to do was try to catch it on Munchlax. But the fact that they ended up switching out first is even better for me. Uh, I'm going to decide to use this Dugong. I really just need to get the attack debuff onto the Skarmory. Uh, one thing you need to be weary of on the Skarmory now is that it has Brave Bird. Most Skarmories, I would assume, got rid of Flash Cannon and have substituted out for Brave Bird, so just be on the lookout for that. Brave Bird does an absolute ton of damage. I believe in one of our games we did get Brave Birded. I'm not sure if it's one of these 10 that we're showcasing here. I actually just dropped the first 10 games um, from level 1 to, I think, level 3 uh, into this video. And I th we ended up in level 4 a little bit into it already. So, yeah. I think we'll probably come in with Munchlax. Yeah, try to absorb a lot of this energy that this Wizcash has. Um, I'm really hoping that they end up dropping a Blizzard here. We're definitely not going to shield, and the fact that he still has two shields and allowed that to go through doesn't seem like the best idea for him, so we're just going to try to lick down. But yeah, the energy advantage that this Whiskash had definitely coming to fruition here. This is our very first game at rank 1, y'all. So this is the very lowest rating you can have, and this is a very sweaty game already. Very close. Our trainer that we're playing against has the... I believe that that jacket's from um, having 200 wins in every... or 500 wins in every league. I'm not exactly sure. I forget how you get it, but it does mean that they PvP a lot. <laughs> so we're going to try to catch, I think, here an ice... Oh, God. We we're going to catch, try to catch an ice beam. Uh, ends up being a play rough. Now, we are going to probably make it to the psychic, and my only dream of winning this game is for him to somehow not shield this psychic and he actually doesn't shield it so all we need to do is get the one lick in and i think that the Wizcash is also one lick away i can't believe i won that game so even if you think everything's uh at a loss definitely just go for it um obama snow a really good pokemon now that powder snow has been buffed and i believe it has uh what is it weather ball ice which is very good, but uh, we have Metacham in the lead, which is a very good matchup for us. Ends up coming in with a Zoomerl, so we swapped into Munchlax here. That's actually a mistake. You actually should be switching into Dugong. Uh, I think I was talking to chat too much, and I definitely forgot what I was doing. Definitely don't do this. Um, I think it ended up working out for us, but this is the wrong play to do. Um, yeah. So... It's actually probably fine, because if you think about it, either Dugong's going to be good against the other Mon in the back, or they're going to bring back in Obama Snow, Obama Snow, which is actually not great against Dugong anyways. What I'm going to do here against this Azumarill is probably Shield once. Oh, we, do we already see the moveset? Right. So we know it's Hydro Pump Ice Beam. I'm not even going to Shield. I'm going to farm completely down, have a ton of uh, energy here to throw at this Obama Snow. I think this does about 40%. Ooh, actually only does about 30%, but that's still a lot. Uh, we get it two-stage debuffed, so the energy balls aren't going to do, be doing very much, but I think I will shield anyway since he's kind of low and try to farm down. And the fact that he's come into this matchup means it's the better of the two matchups, and he actually does have uh, Swampert here in the back. So with a one-stage reduction, I don't think that a Hydro Cannon does KO our Dugong here, so I probably won't shield this. Let's see. 
yeah, I don't shield it because I'm pretty sure I can get to another Icy Wind. I actually don't end up getting to an Icy Wind, so I do need to shield this one because I want it to be two-stage debuff before I come back in with uh, Metacham. And then I probably am going to throw this Ice Punch straight away. I don't really want to get Hydro Cannoned, even though it's double reduced. Um, I want as much life as I can going into this matchup, and then I'm pretty sure I just farm down a Bomb of Snow at this point. Yeah, it only had one HP left. Okay. Another pretty tough game. I think that uh, Obama, Obama Snow is actually going to be very good. Um, I don't have one built currently, so I'm going to have to get to that. Vigoroth. This is obviously a very good matchup for us, and he actually comes back in with Altaria. So this is also a really good matchup for us. The only thing is, I think this Altaria actually gets us very low, and in... In the amount of time that I think Vigoroth can probably farm us down, I did uh, undercharge that. As I said in my previous video, I like to undercharge there so that I can have a little bit of an energy advantage going to the next matchup. But we actually get CMP tied here. I could decide to shield, but um, I want to keep shield parity at this point and just f uh, f fighting. Use the fighting attack. Use counter t as much as possible here. Um, he does come in with Swampert. We're going to throw this. He's probably going to shield. I think I have a second one almost ready, so we want to get the double shield out of him. And then I'm going to come in with uh, with Munchlax and just start absorbing the uh, Hydro Cannons. And actually, we end up taking one right there at the beginning, so glad that we didn't get hit by it on, on Metacham. Would have definitely taken a shield. Probably should shield this one. Yeah. Just going to be trying to do as much damage as we can. I probably want one more shield for Metacham. I guess we'll see here, though, uh, whether or not I can actually take out this Swampert. And our opponent actually makes a really good switch here into um, into Vigoroth. And I probably can't afford to shield anything on this Munchlax, so just let this go. Try to get the farm down with Metacham, aka just the one counter, and then hopefully land an Ice Punch against this Swampert, and actually we just farm it down anyways. So 3-0 uh, at this point, pretty good start. Uh, some pretty good games, to be honest. Another good lead for us here, um, if they throw at the same time, we know they're throwing a punch, most likely it's Thunder Punch. Uh, I think that's what most Hypno, or uh, I'm sorry, Hitmonchan's run. And actually this one had Ice Punch, which is crazy. Um, and then I think I can farm down after this, because they probably don't shield. Uh, but he ends up switching out into Victory Bell, and I switch into Munchlax, which is what I normally do. The only problem is that our Metacham actually doesn't have any energy on it, so it's actually going to be really hard for me to take out this um, this Victory Bell. And actually, this Victory Bell is running Leaf Tornado, which is very good. Because uh, I actually think that uh, Leaf Tornado and... Um, Asset Spray might be the best moveset for Victory Bell because they're going to likely shield anyways, so you might as well try to get those debuffs going. And uh, I probably need to come in with Dugong here. If they throw anything, we have to shield. This is very unfortunate. We were actually just a second, a half a second away from KOing that Victory Bell without having to shield there. Um, they come in with Mero, uh, Mawile. So, uh, this is tough. So, Metacham is actually really good against both. The problem is Metacham, look how low we've gotten because of the fighting. And now uh, I probably should have thrown Water Pulse, I guess, uh, since it's not resisted. And then if we get the farm down here, no, nah, we don't have a Water Pulse. We definitely getting KO'd here. Oh, and it was just CMP tie, the worst. Uh, I actually don't know if an Icy Wind would have KO'd there, but um, yeah. All right, 4-1. It's a good 3-1 uh, so, so far, so not the worst start. Pretty good, actually. Very good. We uh, come in with Mantine, so I didn't know what to do here. We actually faced a Mantine later, and I decided to go Psychic. It actually does a pretty decent amount of damage. Because um, I don't know if I should be switching into Munchlax. I definitely don't want to switch into Dugong, so I guess I have to switch into Munchlax. The only thing is I don't want to get debuffed on Munchlax. It feels really bad. So what I'm going to do is take the second Bubble Beam right here, and then switch into Munchlax, making him maybe stay a little longer than he wants to on the um, on the Mantine. But uh, he does get this Bubble Beam off, and I think he's going to come in with a Reggie Steel. Yeah, and he almost caught the Body Slam, but lucky for us, we actually didn't click it right away. 
Uh, we kind of knew he was going to switch, right? So that Voldez does nothing now. That's so sad. Um, and then I thought I wouldn't get KO'd because of the deba uh, the uh, nerfs to Focus Blast. But yeah, it still does a lot of damage, y'all. <laughs> Got taken out there. And then I'm going to just throw this Psychic and then farm down, I think. Um, I may not have even needed to throw the Psychic because if I'm going to shield anyways... I'd rather not throw it, so that's pretty unlucky. What I think I decide here is since I did that play and I didn't like it, I'm actually just going to expect Dugong to be really good against the two things in the back, considering that Registeel was the thing up front. So I almost guarantee you this Mantine's going to shield here because it wants to get the debuff onto our Dugong, uh, which is fine. We're not going to shield this at all. Obviously, this is Bubble Beam, and then they're going to switch out into whatever's in the back. Um, it looks like it's a Hypno. Okay. So we still have two shields. This should be really good for us. Um, we're going to reduce its damage before it ever throws a move. Plus, we're shielding anyways. And I actually think it's going to go for the full farm down. Is that what's happening right now? Maybe he's going to try to get to uh, three. Well, you can't get to three, but for two punches and then have uh, energy to spare to try to get to a third punch. But um, he's going to be super debuffed by then, but I guess I have to shield anyways. Yeah, this is looking pretty good for us as long as we can uh, take it out. And we do have shields, so when he comes back in with Mantine... Oh, we threw a Shadow Ball. So when he comes back in with Mantine, I think we can farm down. Oh, God. The fact that we couldn't farm down means that we have to shield here on a Bubble Beam, which is pretty sucky. But they used a Shadow Ball, which is 55 energy, which means they also couldn't have had energy for another Shadow Ball. And the fact that they didn't throw a Punch to bait our shields meant that... They probably didn't have a punch. Maybe it's Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, who knows. So in our first set, we went 4-1. Second set, starting off great. This is a Steel type, which we really like to see on Metacham here. I like to throw the Ice Punches at it. It's neutral damage. And um, I usually do take the Earthquake, uh, so probably no shield here. Yep, that Earthquake does about 60% to us, and then they usually swap out. And I swapped in a Munchlax, and you can see my face on the stream. Another really bad swap by me. Um, yeah, I usually swatch, swap Dugong into Azumarill, so I don't know why I swapped a Munchlax in. Uh, probably not going to shield. That's really bad, though. Definitely got to get more comfortable with matchups. I don't know if I was just distracted by the chat or the queue times or what, or the lag. But uh, these switches aren't perfect which I usually strive to be. So this actually ends up working out. I can come in with a Dugong and really get my farm on. He showed Hydro Pump and Ice Beam, so I'm not really scared of anything. And he actually swaps into Galarian Stunfisk here. And I get this Ice Punch off, and I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did last game. Let my uh, let my Metacham go here. kind of did his job. Uh, hopefully they don't have Double Steel. And uh, they actually undercharged uh, right there. Oh, no, they threw the Rock... Uh, the rock slide so we do resist that and they actually came come in with um shift tree it's actually not the worst because we have two shields and it's very squishy but we're gonna have to expend both shields right now and we're gonna force their shield unless they want to just go straight into the azumarill matchup uh, which is fine because we shield this and then farm down they actually swap out to try to catch an ice beam and like i said we already know the moveset on this azumarill we don't want to shield we don't care I'm going to go up to two Icy Winds, then I'll throw, I think. Oh, no, we're going for the full farm down, and then double throws on Icy Winds. We're very hopeful that they don't have two Leaf Blades stored, because if they do, we can't get this back-to-back, -back and we'll actually lose, because even one Leaf Blade debuffed is actually going to KO from this 30% HP that we're at. But luckily, they didn't get it. They actually did sneak in a Snarl, but we still beat them to the CMP. Oh, well... We didn't CMP, I should say. They didn't have the energy for it. Shadow Victory Bell. Man, there's so many freaking Shadow Victory Bells here at the uh, beginning ranks. I I'm actually really sad because Shadow Victory Bell is very good against our team. And I actually want to use this team um, until I get to rank 7 because I believe that your starting games are worth more points. So I kind of want to win as much as possible in the beginning. And then after I hit rank 7, I can do whatever I want because it's going to be a long season. And, uh, yeah, we'll have time to uh, to test some stuff out. Now, against Bastodon, we're just going to farm all the way down, obviously. I have a ton of energy now. If he comes in with the Shadow Victory Bell, 
we can throw the ice punches. He actually comes in with the oxes. I throw this ice punch to buy a little time to think about what I want to do. I think I'm going to switch in dugong, even though both of these things counter dugong. The thing is, I need to uh, bring them out. So he's definitely going to shield this. We would have gotten KO'd by the um, Razor Leafs. So I thought maybe if I lower his attack, we can actually beat it. And maybe I can get a uh, reduction here on the uh, defense Deoxys. But uh, yeah, we don't get it. And he actually has the Thunderbolt there. I really thought he was going to throw Rock Slide at the beginning. So taking that Thunderbolt's really bad. The only thing I have going for me is that I actually resist the moves, and I have. Um, I'm trying to go for the double Ice Punch because he has a shield still, right? I really think he's got Psycho Boost now that I think about it. Does he have Psycho Boost? We have, to sh we have two shields, though, so we can double shield everything. And the Psycho Boost actually might come back to hurt him because now he's doing no damage with his counters uh, since it's reducing his attack stat. But it is faster to get to them, right? And then we start running, in, this is when we really start running in a lag. And why well, I'm not showing the rest of my games because there was a ton of lag in a lot of them. Um, so I'm trying to show you as many non-laggy games as possible, but it is what it is. Um, this matchup's a little strange. You definitely aren't liking it too much as the Metacham because the Licks are doing super effective damage. But you're also dealing super effective damage. The only thing is Munch Slacks is so tanky. But I really don't, th I didn't think he would shield anything here, so I just go for the big psychic play, and then I want to go for the farm down, uh, which he ends up swapping. We come into Munchlax pretty fast, so we know this matchup inside and out. We know we can beat Hypno. Uh, we're probably going to need a shield once, uh, but we can get a lot of farm out of this. All right, so the first body slam obviously just comes through. Now it's a question of do we want to throw a second body slam or do we want to shield and farm all the way down? And I go for a shield and farm all the way down strat here. And I'm going to have a ton of energy coming into this next next matchup. Um, yeah, I have a low HP, but I think he's probably going to come into Munchlax. Yeah. And I don't want to try to lick down because lick is double resisted by Munchlax. Uh, so if he ends up getting to a body slam, I don't want it to... Um, I don't want to shield on Munchlax, so I'd rather just get my energy out, take my loss, come in with Metacham. Uh, this is a tough situation because our Metacham is so low. Usually we would just rejoice at the fact that this is a Machamp. But, uh, yeah. Obviously Machamp's really super effective against both of the Pokemon we have left. I kind of have to call whether or not this is going to be Rock Slide. I think it's going to, and then I shield it, and then it isn't. And I'm like, oh god, well I lose now if he rock slides. But he actually ends up cross chopping, which gives us the time to get to Icy Wind, and we end up uh, winning this matchup. If he had rock slide, which I don't know if he did or not, then uh, rock slide there would have actually won that game because of the counters afterwards would have actually taken us out. Um, cross chop's not the greatest move. It is fast to get to, but it is very low damage. A zoom roll lead here. You know we hate those. Um, uh, there was a lot of Azumarill leads today, y'all, so if you are going to be queuing up tomorrow, I would think that, or even, yeah, tomorrow is when this video is coming out, I would definitely go with something anti-Azumarill on the front, uh, maybe even start Dugong if you're using this team, right? Lead Dugong and then have uh, Munchlax and Metacham in the back. Uh, could be something you do, right? But we're okay losing the lead, too. It's not that bad. Um, the only thing is we're hoping whatever's in the back is not great against Munch, uh, against uh, Medicham. But um, Munchlax here, I think we're just going to farm down with Medicham. Uh, we might have to go for Ice Punch. Probably not. I am going to shield to preserve a little health here. I do think he'll get to another Body Slam, which is fine. But, oh, he actually doesn't. So we actually have a ton of health coming into this next matchup. It's the Azumarill again. You know how we like to do this. We like to throw the Psychic and then dip. And, uh, yeah, they almost never shield. So that really gives us a huge advantage here. Uh, I'm trying not to throw because I'm thinking he's going to try to swap out on us. And he actually does swap. And uh, the reason I throw the Ice Wind first is because uh, it makes sure that we can survive two Rock Slides. Uh, against him, so we have enough time to get to this water pulse. They usually never shield the dugong, anyways, so I'm pretty sure I would get this off. And he, we actually don't get it off, which is crazy to me. Uh, I believe we would survive a rock slide here. Yeah, we do, but we're so low, we actually would get farmed down. So I come back in with Medicham here. Probably will have to shield this. 
because uh, if it's earthquake, it's gonna be really bad. Oh my goodness, we call the rock slide bait. That's insane, and I think this Ice Punch KOs, and we actually have almost another Ice Punch worth of energy for the Azumarill. He's out of shield, so all we need to do is land this Psychic. Oh, he's actually really low. We just have to land the Ice Punch. Nice. Wow, good call on our side. <laughs> another Azumarill lead. Like I said, y'all, it is out there. All right, so we come in with a Munchlax. He comes in with a DD. This isn't that too bad a matchup for us. I think we get a shield, or we win the matchup. Um, yeah, so the counters are obviously doing super effective against us. The Lick's doing super effective against him. He has a low HP, and the Licks are really adding up. Uh, like I said, I, he'll have to shield if he wants to win this matchup. That's fine with us. We're fine losing this matchup. I don't think this will KO us, which means he'll actually get a little bit of extra farm, which is not great. Oh, he doesn't want us to get to a body slam, so he actually double throws. So now he's out of energy. We come in with the Metacham, and we just farm up a lot, right? Could come in with the Dugong, but I, I like coming in with Metacham here. We resist everything, and we get a ton of farm. And Metacham's moveset is very versatile. If anything, it's what you want uh, to have energy on because you can hit all different angles. Uh, they have that Azumarill. We come in with the Psychic, and we're probably going to switch to the Dugong. You guys know it by now. Hit him with the Psychic, swap to the Dugong. That is the mantra of this channel uh, as of right now. But uh, you know what? I actually tested a little bit of a Lowland Marowak um, after these games. Uh, but I really want to test out Driftbloom. And I do have a lot of Stardust now because we got 150,000 while using the Star Piece for the rank 10 rewards. And um, I want to make an Obama Snow. So you saw he wasn't switching out of this matchup, which means the thing in the back must be really bad against Dugong. So I'm assuming already that it's in Altaria. Um, it makes sense. Oh, it actually ends up being a Skarmory. That also makes sense. I'll probably just stay in this Dugong matchup, probably double Icy Wind it, and maybe bring in the uh, Metacham, because I know that I'm going to have to use shields here. And Metacham's doing, well, they're both doing neutral damage. So I don't know if I'm going to try to preserve this Dugong or not. The Azum the Azumarill is pretty low. Maybe I just let Dugong go here, and then let Metacham farm down or throw an icy wind or ice punch. Nah, it looks like a shield. All of these things seem like they would work. So, it looks like you could have done anything in this situation and probably won. We were just so far ahead at this point. And uh, yeah, can farm down here with Metacham. Oh, we throw the ice pu ice punch. It doesn't matter. All right, so that was my day one. I think I ended, like I said, somewhere in the middle of uh, rank four. Games took a very long time to find. It's because it's day one, right? So as as the spread happens a little more, we're going to see that the queue times aren't going to be as long. But, um, yeah, I hope you all do well in your games. Like I said, there's a lot of Azumarill leads out there. There's a lot of Galarian Stunfisk in the meta in general. Um, I actually saw a pretty decent amount of Skarmory and... Munchlax today as well as Vigoroth. So those are the things I saw the most in the meta. Uh, a few Obama Snows as well. So take that as you will. Those are the things that I saw coming out here at the beginning. We actually only saw one Drift Blim. Um, but yeah. Um, thank you all again for watching. Definitely hit the subscribe button, like, and comment as well. What teams are you going to be using here at the beginning? What rank are you at? And what things do you want me to try once we hit rank 7? Definitely taking in as much as I can. Uh, I talked to someone about uh, who we played who used a Shadow Obama Snow. Hopefully I can get that onto our channel as well. So yeah, thanks again for watching and have a great day.